Hello, this is Joyce Latimer, and today we're going to talk about how to determine the proper timing for a PGR application. First of all, the plant should be actively growing and healthy. You never want to apply PGRs to a stressed plant. You want to time the PGR application to meet the plant's growth or development needs. So you're going to have to learn how your plants grow and how they develop, how they flower, so that you can anticipate when you need to intervene. There are several resources available for guidance on this, such as our PGR guides, uh, PGR label, and other resources. There are a lot of different guidelines for when to apply PGRs to reduce plant growth, such as when the plants reach a predetermined number of leaves. One to two leaves on bedding plant plugs is when it's recommended to start your PGR applications. It may be a predetermined height. You'll see this information on the PGR label or on some of our application guides. Bedding plants, caladiums, cut flowers, they'll give you a guideline for a height. 1 to 3 inches, 2 to 4, 4 to 6. Look at the label for that kind of information. Often you're told just as the stem elongation begins, or this is just prior to stem stretch, or it may be a certain number of days after pinching, or when the laterals reach a predetermined length after pinching. Pay attention to those kind of guidelines. In some of our crops, particularly some of our perennials, the flower stalk is where we get our stretch. It's not so much in the rosette. So it's when the flower stalks start to elongate or when they reach the top of the foliage or when they start to show color. Again, look for information on your specific crop so that you don't end up with stretched plants like this. So what if you want to increase branching or pot fill? You want to use a chemical as a substitute or in addition to manual pinching or shearing. You can apply branching agents, but you must have enough growth on the plant for branching. You can't create something out of nothing. You must have a sufficient number of nodes or lateral buds and enough foliage to intercept and absorb that plant growth regulator in order to get a response. So what if you do not want to affect flowering, which we typically don't? We want to control growth without delaying flowering. First of all, you want to use the appropriate PGR, such as you will not use Ethafon to give you growth regulation if you're interested in marketing within the next six to eight weeks. And you must also look at the correct rate. If you look at this picture of Rudbeckia here, you can see that we don't have to get into very high rates and liner soaks to significantly delay or completely inhibit plant flowering. So rate is important. In general, you're going to apply your plant growth retardants well before flowering, especially with bedding plants, so that you don't delay flowering. But in some of our perennials, where the, particularly those with a rosette form, where the stretch is really in the flower stalk or when the plant starts to flower, you're going to want to wait till after flower initiation or after the flower stems start to elongate in order to control that stretch in the plant. So timing PGR applications, you have to know how the plant grows. So pay attention and treat to intervene or cause the response you want at the proper time. Use published resources or grower recommendations as guidelines. Read the label. There's a lot of information on PGR labels, much more than you'll see on a lot of your other ornamental labels. And again, just learn the art of plant growth regulation. Thanks to Fine Americas and eGrow for sponsoring this video.